What's going on everyone? I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a very nice start of a week. Nice Monday, if that's even possible. <laughs> like I've said in other videos that I've uploaded. Um, today I thought I'd upload another video to this channel, uh, Fish Bowls and Musgo, which translates to moss in Spanish, and show you this little guy that I have over here. This is a little fishbowl terrarium that I've kept for about a year a year and a, a couple of months and we can see that it's doing uh, okay it's doing uh, very well we can see a couple of brown patches here and there but that's pretty much the moss that didn't uh, didn't take from the beginning of the whole planting uh, for example I'm gonna use a chopstick to do the planting and to show you guys the things that I want to point out uh, but here we can see that this this little brown patches that we have here are not looking pretty good and like I said this is something that uh, I've experienced since the beginning of this planting uh, this is a type of moss that comes from a little springtail there <laughs> going crazy and uh, this is a type of moss that I've had since the beginning sorry the auto the auto focus it's killing me uh, and uh, it's, it comes from a way, way cooler climate than um, the one we have where I live. Where I live, uh, it's, we have a very tropical weather. And uh, we can see the difference between this little moss over here, this type of moss. It's coming along nicely these few days. This past few days is starting to get green again. But we can see that this species that I have here, it's much more adapted to what we have here in a tropical place. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. And yeah, we can see that it's nice green started to grow and grow. In fact, we can see that, for example, this little stone here is starting to get completely covered by the moss. Yeah. And so what we're going to do today is I'm going to plant a little bit more moss in all of those little patches that we have. We still have the dirt, you know, dirt showing. Uh, this little patch that I mentioned before, the moss from the cooler climate, I'm gonna leave it there because it, it looks like it's coming back, you know? And so I, I really want that because it's moss that I've had from the beginning of the planting. And so, yeah, I'm gonna keep it there. We can see that this area over here is the same species of moss and again it's, it's still it continues to well you see that there we can see one of the problems that we can fix actually we can see that this is not in contact with the soil very well and that that might be one of the reasons why Is not getting greener like it should you know but we'll see what we can do okay so I'm going to show you the the little moss that I want to plant plant this little guy over here different species and a little bit of this comes from this little clump this kind of looks like the living version of sphagnum moss that we use for orchids and, and whatnot. So we can see that it's alive and well. So I'm also going to use it as an accent little moss. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, oh, sorry. What I'm going to do is cut a little bit of the rice solids so they're in contact with the soil. there and then uh, it's just a matter of sticking them wherever we want them yeah always making sure that the moss is in contact with the soil oh you see the problem that we've been having with the other little patch of moss is that we have a stone here 
stone and no soil. So maybe if we remove this little stone, moss can develop there faster and better. There we go. So first little patch goes in. Yeah. First little patch. Oh, they call you patch. Okay, and uh, the second one, let's see. I'm gonna put back the same little dried up, apparently dead little patch, but uh, now it's gonna be in contact with the soil. Like we know, if you're into moss, you'll know that it doesn't necessarily need to be in contact with the, uh, with the soil for nutrients, but it definitely needs to be in contact with uh, a water source or moisture source in this case. Let's take a look at this little patch over here. Hmm. I think it's start slowly coming along. But yeah, we can remove that. And then continue with this little guy right here. And I think the other one. Would be very good. Got the rice hunts. other one not sure how about here there take a look at this little patch over here those little guys We can see the difference between this, this moss, and this moss, yeah? And uh, you know, that's kind of interesting because this is moss collected from the same place, same location, same little patch, <laughs> and uh, we can see that it's different species, you know? Different species of moss that once given the correct you know, the correct conditions, they will thrive. They will start to develop in your terrarium. In your terrarium, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it kind of looks the same. <laughs> it looks the same, but, um, you know, it's that's the thing with terrariums, you know. Uh, they keep changing, they keep evolving. If you can see that your plants or your moss isn't doing that well, you can tweak a little thing, a couple of things here and there, so that you can, uh, like I said, give your moss the conditions that it needs in order to try to thrive. Let's see if we can lift this up so you can see it better. I wish you could see it, you know, from from the bottom, but the moisture on the walls of a fishbowl 
prevent me from doing that. I'm just gonna pick the camera up and show you a couple more shots. Yeah, like I said, the moisture over here. Let's see if we can. Hmm. Looking good. Right? I just covered this with a, a little patch of cling film. I missed it uh, you know, once a week and keep it under a bright light, bright LED light. You should have a, a beautiful closed ecosystem right on your desk, right on your office. So I hope you like this video. Uh, leave any comments, any questions, anything. Drop them down below and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.